On today's episode, I'm heading up with good friends Ben and Donnie as we head to Northwest Ontario chasing big giant black bear. <laughs> Stay tuned for fun. I'm your host Rob Gillow and welcome to Traditional Tips and Trips. Bear hunting is the place to be. So here's a couple tips that I think that help um, make this bear hunt a success and is helpful to traditional bow hunters or traditional muzzleloaders. Number one is the aspect that we got to take in and hang and put up our own stands or ground blinds, which means we got to decide where and how we set up, how far we shot distances we wanted, and it could set up in a very comfortable stand that we brought instead of a plywood platform that's been there for several years and every bear in the area knows where it's at. Now another helpful hint that I really like as you'll see in some of the video clips is the fact that I was wearing a nitro glove. Uh, either a latex or a nitro which is a latex free product um, can work and in wearing the gloves the mosquitoes and black flies did not like landing on them so it gave us some protection from the bugs but still allowed a very thin glove that we could still get a good feel of the bowstring um, and not worrying about utilizing mosquito repellents that may damage the finish of our bows or rifle stocks. Right, I just got dropped off at my spot our first night at bear camp so we're gonna sneak on back get in the stand see how we do come on so day four however became a lot more interesting as that tree stand set was the last one we set up I was actually planning on hunting the ground blind that night but as we freshened the bait and we made our way back to the truck I decided I needed to stay there so after changing my clothes quickly I simply walked back from the truck to go get in that stand only to find a bear already on the bait. As it tipped the bucket over, it spooked itself and it took off running. So I quickly got set up and sat back to wait. About an hour had gone by and I decided I was going to give my calling a try with our big game rival. Five minutes later, this big guy came in. <laughs>
All right. I am happy to say Dusty from Bear Creek Outfitters got me a 10 yard shot at bat. <laughs> he is huge. Holy wow. He made it maybe 60 yards. But I'm going to tag him and get out of here and go get help because a few minutes ago there was a another boar good sized boar just a little bit smaller than him it came in behind me came around poked up could smell my bear and then kind of wandered off that way but I can hear sticks breaking back up the up the hill here so I'm just gonna tag him head back to wait for folks to pick me up so, we're going to have a little fun with uh, Ben and Don and whew, see where this goes, but there's a rainbow behind me. Good Lord gave me lots of blessings today. Red light of the knock there. And a big black blob attached to it. Nice little bear, Rob. A nice, nice size bear, actually. <laughs> There's nothing little about that one. No, there ain't nothing little about it. <laughs> nice one. You kidding me, dude? That's a great bear. <laughs> Why you pull, why'd you pull my... <laughs> That's a nice bear, dude. Yeah, it is. Really nice. And I do have it all on video, too. The whole thing. You Sweet. said, oh, it's a little bear. That ain't no little bear. No, I didn't say it was a little bear. I said it was about the size you shot. Yeah. He's a roly-poly. All right. Look inside those pads. He obviously enjoyed the uh, bait often. <laughs> Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, we really want to take time and, and thank Dusty at Bear Creek Outfitters. Uh, he is a phenomenal guide and tracker and puts in an unbelievable amount of work to make sure that his clients uh, have a successful trip there to Northern Ontario. Um, stay tuned next week. We are actually going to have more video and pictures of all the sights and the sounds that we got to experience while we were in Canada um, on this bear hunt. There just wasn't enough time uh, in today's episode to bring that to you all, including some pictures of a beautiful bear that Ben shot. Um, if you like what you're seeing, please remember to click on the subscribe button down at the bottom and tell your friends about it so they can enjoy it too. Until next time, keep your broadhead sharp, your powder dry, and we'll see you right here on Traditional Tips and Trips. Hi folks, I wanted to take a moment to introduce to you the newest call from Gillow Outdoors, the Big Game Rival. The Rival call is four big game calls all in one package. Let me give you an example. How about white-tailed deer? And with this redesign, you can make this call very quiet or really loud. Reach out, get his attention. But he's 500 yards out. The reed doesn't lock up or won't squeal out, so your call will always work. Hey, how about the social growls of a bear? help coax them in just a little closer. You want to create competition see to get bears to your bait a little earlier? We can do fighting bears. You know, one of the things I love to do every spring is head down and do some hog hunting. Invert the flex tube, you have feeding hogs, 
all the way to fighting hogs. Now, how many times have you sat in your stand and had those coyotes pop out just a little bit of ways? Pull the flex tube off the call, turn the call over, and you have your little coaxer. <laughs> the big game rival. Don't just call it game. Become their rival. <laughs>